God does not walk everywhere. God is everywhere, but God does not walk everywhere. Today, there will be an understanding in your life that will make a major difference. There is a big difference between the omnipresence of God and the manifest presence of God. Now, knowing the difference between these two will make a major difference in your life as an individual. God's omnipresence simply means that God is everywhere. Everywhere you go, you'll find God there. In Genesis chapter 26 and verse 2, the Bible says, And the Lord appeared unto Isaac, and said, Go not down into Egypt, dwell in the land which I shall tell you. That was an instruction that God gave Isaac. Now, the omnipresence of God is not enough to function in life. God is everywhere. There's no doubt about that. Where do I go from your presence? That was the words of David. If I go into the deep, you are there. He said, even light and darkness are the same to you. He said, even in hell, you are there. And so God is everywhere, but you need much more than the omnipresence of God to function in life. You need something much more higher. And that's what we call the manifest presence of God. The manifest presence of God is the manifestations of God in the place. It is possible that God is in the place, but God is not manifesting in the place. And so, beyond the omnipresence of God, you need the manifest presence of God. And that was why this instruction came to Isaac. God said to him, dwell in the land that I will show you. Now, there were two references to divine presence in the book of Psalms. Now, I want to look at this very carefully. The first one is in 109th Psalm. Sorry, 139th Psalm, 139. It said, Whither shall I go from thy spirit? Or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. That's verse 7 to 8. This is what we refer to as the omnipresence of God. Now, again, in 23rd Psalm, Psalm 23, it says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, it says, Thou art with me. It says, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23 and verse 4. Now, this is obviously what we refer to as the manifest presence of God. The manifest presence of God gives us an assurance that God is with us. Now, God is everywhere, but I need to know that God is with me. I need to know that God is involved in my, in my affairs. I need to know that His help is available for me. I need to know that God is everywhere, but beyond being everywhere, God is going to act on my behalf. That is the manifest presence. He said, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he said, thou art with me. And because of that, I will not fear because I know you are with me. Now, the point we're making is this. It's important to understand that God's manifest presence is only guaranteed. Listen carefully. God's manifest presence is only guaranteed when we function at the right place where God has placed us in life. That's what happened to Isaac. God said to him, don't go down to Egypt. Stay in the land of the Philistines. Stay here. And this is where your blessings will be located. Now, don't forget, if you look at that story carefully, there was famine everywhere. There was no rain. So naturally, you would want to move away from that place. But Isaac came to that point where God spoke to him and said, stay in this place. This is where your blessings are waiting for you. And so God is everywhere, but God does not manifest everywhere. God manifested for Isaac because he was in the right place. And so I'm trusting God with you that you'll find yourself in the right place where his blessings are ordained for your life. 
where God has programmed your breakthroughs, where God has programmed your progress and your promotions in life as an individual. That is the trust of our lesson today. Let now, if you look closely at the story of Abraham, you will notice that Abraham and Lot had their fortune in the land of Egypt. Genesis chapter 13, verse 1 to 2. It was after this experience that Isaac was born. So it's natural for Isaac to want to move to a place where his father became rich. It's natural to want to move to a place where it's more promising. That was the reason why Isaac felt, let me go down to Egypt until God intercepted him. And so it's natural for his son to want to go to a place where the father made it. This was the exact scenario that Isaac found himself. He wanted to move to Egypt to escape the famine in the land. Bible says, Genesis 26, verse 1 to 2, and there was famine in the land beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went to Abimelech, king of Philistine, to Gira. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Egypt, dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. The question in my mind was, why was Abraham allowed to go to Egypt and his son was not allowed? The answer is simply, God has the right place for every one of us. Abraham was allowed to go, but Isaac was not allowed. The answer is simply because there is a right place for everyone in life. The right place for your parent may not be the right place for you. The right place for your friend may not be the right place for you. And it's important that you locate the right place for your destiny. The right place for Abraham was not the right place for Isaac. If you look at it closely, where God asked Isaac to stay was a place that nothing would grow naturally because there was no rain. But because he was in the right place that God has placed him, he became extremely prosperous and successful. It was all because he had God's manifest presence. Now don't forget, that's what we're learning. That there's a big difference between the omnipresence of God and the manifest presence of God. Isaac stayed in the land of, of famine, but he prospered in that land because it was the right place for him. When you are in the right place, you will not just experience the omnipresence of God, you will experience the manifest presence of God. If he had moved to Egypt, he would have been operating under the omnipresence nature of God, which wouldn't have made any difference for him. The other Philistines envied him because they only had the omnipresence of God and not the manifest presence of God. It is dangerous to operate in the place that God has not placed you. It is dangerous to operate in the place that God has not placed you. And so God's guidance makes a lot of difference in the life of Isaac. And the same for us, God's guidance will make a lot of difference in our journey in life. We must be humble enough to allow God to show us the right place. We must be humble enough to allow God to show us the right place. He will show up for us there. Where he leads is where his grace will keep us. Where God leads you is where his grace will keep you. It is good to wait and ask God questions. Lord, where is the right place? Where are you guiding me into? Where are you leading me into? And when you find the right place, the resources that you need, the help that you need, the people that you need for your journey will be available because you are in the right place, doing the right thing, and with the right people. I trust God with you that this will become your experience as an individual. God is everywhere, but God does not manifest everywhere. And so in your journey in life, you must be conscious of this reality. Is God in this place?
you are in a job, ask yourself, is God on this job with me? Because his presence with you on that job, his manifest presence with you in that marriage will make all the difference. You might go to the same challenges that other goes through, but because his manifest presence is with you, it will make all the difference in your journey as an individual. I trust God with you today that this has been a blessing to you, that you will not miss your place. You will be established in your God-ordained place of life and destiny. Don't forget to share this video with somebody. I want to encourage you, if you are not subscribed, please do so. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on your notification. And I'll be glad to always share these videos with you from time to time. And I'm so glad to be a part of your journey into destiny. And I will see you in your destiny. God bless you.